problem on isometric view so these are the two views given for an object front view and left hand side view and we are going to draw isometric first of all let us find total length total width and total height total length is 80 mm total width is 54 mm and total height is 90 mm then draw horizontal line mark a point on it as origin draw vertical line through origin then draw two lines at 30 degree angle as enter object has occupied space available to the right of origin therefore we are supposed to take the length here that is to the right of origin and width is uh, to the left of origin it can be seen from side view the uh, view has occupied the space available to the left of origin in the side view <coughs> therefore to the left of origin we have to take width it is 54 mm and height along vertical line it is 90 mm draw line vertical line one more vertical line then draw line parallel to length parallel to width parallel to width one more line parallel to length and this is length width and height and here these are the different vertical lines let us mark these lines all horizontal lines in front view let us mark these lines by letter l because these will go parallel to length and on all horizontal lines in side view let us mark these lines by letter w because this will go parallel to width now this line is not parallel to length width height therefore this line is non isometric line this is also non isometric line now these are vertical lines these are the projections of non isometric line from front view therefore all these vertical segments are non isometric line inside view. non isometric line let us draw the corresponding lines here and the, we will get the isometric view for given object now this point is already available here this point it is here this line it has been already drawn then this line also it has been already drawn 
Now let us try to locate this point. To locate this point, first of all, we need to draw this trapezium first in the front plane. See, at the bottom, the length available is 80 and at the top, the length is 38. Therefore, let us locate center for that. Add 40 mm and this total length is 38, 19 mm on either side. Let us mark two points and let, then let us join these points with these corners. In this way we have drawn this trapezium in front plane. We have drawn trapezium in, in this plane. Uh, let's call this plane number 1. After that we have to draw trapezium in this plane also. Let's call this plane as 2, plane number 2. Then this as a plane number 3. And lastly this, this is the plane number 4. In all these planes, we need to draw the part of sometimes full view of trapezium, sometimes partial view of trapezium. See, this length is 20 mm height, but this sloping line, it will give the more length than 20 See, the problem is how to locate this point. If simply from center, we can draw one line from the center. Take 20 mm, point at 20 mm, then transfer this point, okay, this or this, on this non isometric line. You can mark this point here, here, or here, anywhere and then transfer this point on these non-isometric lines. If this point is here and this point it is here. Now, let us see, we have drawn trapezium in this plane. Now let us draw trapezium in plane number 2. For that, let us draw lines parallel to V for this line. Now we want to draw trapezium in this plane number 2. This plane is at 18 mm from this right end because this total distance is 54. This is 36 and this is 18 therefore 18 plus 18 plus 18 total is 54. This plane is at 18 mm distance. Set draw after this to this non isometric line then draw parallel line. Then set parallel to length, draw line parallel to length, parallel to length again. Then length is 80 mm. Join these two points. We have drawn trapezium in this plane. Now let's try to locate this point. To locate this point, I should go parallel to width by 18 mm distance in the width direction. 
see from uh, this point if I go parallel to width I'll get this point here after getting this point see it is here in front view we can easily get this point just by drawing line parallel to length this is the point here and join these two points by default these two lines will be parallel now let's draw trapezium in plane number 3 it is again at 18 mm distance from this point inside a set drafter parallel to length take 18 mm distance the set drafter parallel to this non isometric line and draw a line parallel see let's draw trapezium in this uh, plane number 4 not all lines are needed for that shift this point by 18 mm shift this point by 18 mm and then draw a line joining these two points now along this line we have to look at this point see see these two lengths are same as this is 20 and this is also 20 therefore directly we can take this distance and transfer it over here we will get this point otherwise take 20 on this and transfer this uh, point or uh, projection of point on this non isometric line will get this true length and this vertical lines these vertical lines are apparent lengths vertical lines are apparent lengths after getting see this point it's here we can draw this line just by going parallel to width parallel to width and in this uh, jade shaped uh, object we can see here uh, the major portion of the object is over now uh, only thing left is uh, isometric of this circle for that let us draw the center line first this hole is at 45 mm distance from bottom line out of which this 20 has been removed therefore this distance will be 25 mm from this point it is the center is at 25 mm then draw one more horizontal center line now let us circumscribe this center uh, circle in a square this square is formed by four lines out of which two lines are parallel to length and the remaining two lines are parallel to height let us construct rhombus for uh, isometric of this square the 
side of rhombus is equal to diameter here diameter is 36 therefore radius is 18 mm take 18 mm on all four directions that is up down right left and through these points draw two lines parallel to length and uh, two lines parallel to height in this way we get rhombus of side equal to diameter of circle because 18 plus 18 total 36 36 by 36 rhombus then draw longer diagonal first Then join corner with midpoints. By using this center, draw an arc. With same radius. And using changing center draw another arc third center draw an arc fourth center draw an arc now we have drawn this uh, ellipse in plane number 2 Plane number two. <coughs> now let's draw arc parallel to this in plane number three. There will be pa arc parallel to this. The center of this arc to be shifted by 18 mm in the width direction. Let's shift it by 18 mm. Then with the old radius and new center we shall draw an arc after that we can do finishing draw object lines as thick continuous lines Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe and share.